All righty, here we are. We're streaming, Ellie. Oh, it's on. <laughs> it's on. We're ready. All right, everybody. Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are watching us from around the world and gathering on this bead table uh, live broadcast. It's great to have everyone here and. I right to my left you're gonna see her in just a moment is our fantastic bead table design team lead there's so <laughs> many so many words to your title Allie oh, no um, title. the wonderful I know I'm not into no titles, titles either no <laughs> titles but our wonderful design team lead who's heads up our wonderful wonderful design team the great Allie Mori, who is here with me today with her project. So I'm just going to make sure everyone, I think everything is up and running. Good. I can see all of you all here, and I'm going to put us on that one there. Great. And I will put us on. Yes, there yes. we are live. Thank you so much for coming. I enjoy being here so Oh, much. I love it. I'm yeah. going to move the microphone up just a little bit. So sorry you guys you might hear that a little, but I'm going to move it so because Allie is so, you have such a lady's voice. quiet voice. voice. It's such I a know. lady's I've voice. I've grown up with it. You're too quiet. <laughs> I love it. Let me make sure I can get you in the there we are. Perfect. There we are. There we go. All right. Oh, you got, look at, everyone is just streaming on so there. excited and everyone is so happy to see you. Well, I'm happy to see you because without you, this project would not have been. Without you, last week's project also would not have been. Lots of so, projects. <laughs> lots of projects. So of I going, going. have, um, we have some great things to show you guys. Look at Ali finished look at what she did thank goodness it's all done I'm going to show you a close-up of last week's project the one if you're a bead table member she brought the Karen inspiration I've got that to show you as well um, but it's great you know I um, am always awed about and blown away about your prolific I don't know talents you are a you are a seed well not only no, a seed beater a but, seed a, beater. Right, but a but a, <laughs> no we're just talking about that not like, a seed well beater. we love the seed beads but we love those big projects and stuff as right, well right right so what's ally what's your secret sauce what i know maybe you don't well you tell i don't know no i think it's more it's it's an engineering mind mm -hmm. it's an architectural mind mm -hmm. um building things yeah I think that's right that is the secret is to build something yeah and do you see the end product as you're making do you have like that as your target in your head I think you have an idea yeah you have an outline mm -hmm. an idea but a lot of twists and turns along the way right right uh, may change your mind yeah but I feel that sometimes um, having that goal in mind and that's I think like with this um, when you did this guy, your mountain mosaic, mm -hmm. I had kind of the vision in my head about, okay, I see Allie's, I'm going to picture, I'm going to hold that photo right here in my head, and then I'm going to work towards it. Well, I worked towards it <laughs> on the broadcast, and then I mailed it to Allie, and <laughs> I Allie got fixed it. curled up She thing. write this thing. <laughs> so we're going to talk a little bit about, we're going to troubleshoot this just a little bit, because... Um, I think that your analytical mind um, really, uh, I think that helps you be so prolific. Mm -hmm. I, and, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying that you guys have to write everything down or plan each step of the way because spontaneity is also great. But I think if you kind of have a vision of your end game, you can kind of figure out those steps and the twists and the turns right. and everything to which get way there. to go yeah which way to go mm -hmm. so well it is so wonderful to have you Thank and you. i want to say again and i know all of you all agree that lookbook that the design team created for the beginning of 2020 was amazing um you and danielle and kim and great Faye, team oh you my guys gosh. just you it yeah. was really great uh, it, there's so much that we're mining in we have some other projects that mm -hmm. are coming up out from uh, the lookbook that we're going to share yeah um but I wanted to Allie does all of that herself she gathers she gathers all that design team info all of that and you you linked everything 
every link. You placed every photo. All you the graphics. Wrote all the graphics, all of that. The so whole, yeah. you, I am in awe the of whole that. Thing. Because I mean, it's absolutely a lot of fun. It yeah, really well, is. thank goodness. Except for, you know, when you have trouble or problems. Right. And, you know, you kind of mumble and yeah. mumble. But, but um, again, I think you have yeah. that goal, that end yeah. goal in you mind. You know what you're doing. Yeah, right. and you kind of design mm -hmm. towards that end goal. Absolutely. So, yeah, yeah I think So we great. get there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, look at that. Donna, thank you so much. Donna says, Allie and our design team are our community's oh. treasure. It oh, is so true. Thank you so much. True. It is mm -hmm. true. Um, it is great to have everybody here. Look, my mama is uh, is on. Hi, right. Ma. Thanks again for all of your fine comments about my my hair. It's she's it's a already cutie. grown. I'm yeah. cute. Who's cute? She's so cute. Allie. <laughs> Allie's cute. Um, but we are. Um, so let's take a look at what we've got in front of us. So we've got so many things. I'm gonna move uh, over here to this um, to this scene so you guys can yep. see we've got um i'm gonna move that little microphone back now just a little Not bit there we go her. and you can see in front of us we've got the sea crowns project here but i also have let's take a look at these guys here just real quick because i think um that it would be fun to start this um this day with kind of going over some of the the pieces that Ali brought now this is the original you know when we when i do um like the different shows like beads bobbles and jewels and stuff they always say kate tell me what the hero is so the hero is the number one um project the number one outstanding project so this one mountain Mazo mosaic is our hero for this uh for this project and so what what was the inspiration? You don't really do peyote stitch. So I don't. Much. I don't do peyote. Um, th so this was kind of a first endeavor, really, into peyote. Mm -hmm. um, but I loved mosaic. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> I thought, you know, it'd be kind of fun. I love the freeform mm -hmm. idea. And uh, I thought it might be just kind of fun to freeform one. Mm -hmm. Um, but and I didn't like the, the ones with all the open loops and whatever. And right. I wanted something with more body. Mm -hmm. That was solid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you, uh, so when you approach this, so when I, so you can see Allie did, fixed my um, extravaganza that I did on last week's <laughs> broadcast. And I think when you're tackling this, I think you need to put your mind in a mindset of that you're working in Blocks, blocks, is that right? So, yeah. So how do you arrange that in your head? Um, I think you just have to know that you're going to go straight across and not deviate. And even though you're using larger beads and smaller beads, you're going to string through mm -hmm. and just keep it, you know, I think everyone had the problem with keeping it flat. Mm -hmm. It was curling right. and, and that's because you're adding too many beads where you shouldn't right. or you're not putting enough in and it tightens it up. Um, so it's just a mindset of keeping it flat in blocks. And if you need to just go back and forth in an area, just uh -huh. do it right, right there. Okay. And, and then not you can go always, across. And not go across. Mm -hmm. And you can string through and then maybe finish another area. That makes sense. And you sense. do it until you, you know you get a pretty even strip and then you can take off again okay I get it and just kind of work it in the the color sections in the blocks yeah and that makes sense I think one of the things that I was doing and we're seeing a lot of these come up on the bead table which are awesome um, that you guys are tackling them I think that thinking about this in those rows. block sections in those rows so if you have to add a little more add it and then you were saying also String just through. string through like if you were coming here and you had to go back up and then do this and fix that and then you could just string through that string row. String right? right through and this is a good example if I take one of sure. these other ones mm -hmm. um, because this one's a simpler version of it. You're only using two sizes of beads. Mm -hmm. But when you're starting your rows and you're going back I'm and gonna forth. I'm going to get in a little tighter Ellie so they can okay. be really soup. Whoops that's a little wider. Let me try that again. There we, go. there we go. So yeah. you guys can really see it. There now. Whoops. Oops. There we go. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah. So when you're going back and forth, what you want to do is the six aughts mm -hmm. are going to get taller right. than the eight aughts. Mm -hmm. 
So what you want to do is string right through the six odds mm -hmm. without adding any more mm -hmm. on. Right, I see that. And then you'll stay even. And so this one is still going across, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But what you're doing, I'm going to put this one there and I'm going to put this one there. Is oh. And so you guys can really see how, even though these are both on the horizon, what Ellie is saying is there's your block. And see how that six aught is kind of taller, right? Mm -hmm. So you'd put on your second, and instead of putting another row on, you would just go through that right row through one it. more time. Mm -hmm. right? right through it. Yeah. And then you're staying even mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all the way. I really love. Um, I really love the way. I, I love the way they both look, and I think they're a really cool kind of twin set, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. that, that works for that. So this is more complicated. This is a little simpler mm -hmm. version, so if you're having a hard time getting this, I'd say start with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I love them. Yeah. Now, I also wanted to mention, uh, of course, Janice is over um, moderating over on our YouTube page, and Gita is over on our um, Facebook page doing um, some moderating and linking so thank you much so much ladies for doing that as well as you guys when you like and link and share our broadcasts it really helps get that BD word out there so we really really appreciate all of those shares and all of those um, those comments and everything it means a lot to us because without you guys we would not be here of course um, well, these are great. Now, Allie, I'm going to put this one. This one you made a little narrower, mm -hmm. which I also like. You don't have to go so wide yeah, just, with it. You know, whatever right? you feel like at the mm -hmm. moment. I mean, you can add, and the nice thing about it is that you think you're my, you might be done, mm -hmm. but you can always go back and add more on. Right. And then what I like to do at the end, at the very end, is actually I go around the outside edge. To and then just to tuck, stitch tuck them in. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see I kind of created little areas. Right, that closed it up. detail, mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. And so you, can, really you can just keep adding. I mean, you can even add them onto the end if you're too right, short. if it's too so, short. Right. Um, that's the beauty of well, that. Well, it looks really nice. Well, yeah. Karen's going to have this photographed and up on the website, so you'll have a project map um, for this one. Okay, so you'll have them, them both. Um, Drea is writing up this guy here, so you'll have this one also in uh, the the mosaic project. And then you use you brought this one, which I just adore. You did this one for Karen mm -hmm. for her birthday That's week, birthday. which was so nice. Mm -hmm. And you did it with the some of the boudoir mix, which yes. right now sadly is sold out. But you never know; it may someday make a reappearance. You guys loved it so much. But it's really, again, it's that blocking, that color blocking. It's all that blocking. You did. Mm -hmm. I added a few of uh, the Baroque. The Baroque pearls. pearls yeah. Um, but um, it's just the same as this, mm -hmm. where you're just doing the squares and block. And yeah. Just keep it modular. It's really nice. And then this is the heart, yeah. the, the heart pendant yeah. that we have, the, the mosaic heart. Um, the Baroque pearls that we carry, it is a Miyuki. Be, it actually falls under the seed bead realm. I'll raise it so you guys can see it. So it's more like a five aught size. They're it's larger, a yeah, little bigger than mm -hmm. that six aught. Mm -hmm. um, but I adore them. It's one of my favorite beads, and I don't use them enough. Yeah, I we don't. <laughs> yeah. So now I also wanted to mention you were sneaky with your thread, and I chose. What did I use? I used I used KO, KO I think I believe, for this is I what believe, I used. Yeah. But you had some, and we'll get it back in. Our fire fire line is kind of out of stock at the moment, but where our supplier assures us that it's coming back. But you used fire line. I did. And on I, which one? And I should have asked you. I I did on this one. Uh huh. I I believe I did on this one as mm -hmm. well. Um, I think it holds it better. Right. The stiffness of the fire line? Because like? I did start trying to use, uh, I may have tried with Hana mm -hmm. and on when I was redoing yours, mm -hmm. and I it I didn't wasn't happy with the results. Right, with the results. So, right. Um, I went to Fireline. And, and the fire it line came really out fine. And it really feels uh strong substantial. And yeah. And strong. Yeah. So yeah. there's a real difference. Mm -hmm. Um so you know, you can you could we all have our thread preferences, yeah. um, but I really like seeing this in Fireline, because Fireline isn't one that I um, 
pick up automatically. Yeah. So I'm sure it would um, work with any yeah. of the th um, thin yeah. threads. Yeah. But for me, no, we did. We listed Ko to use, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you can you can do that um, as well. It's just you know, yeah. but I wanted to mention it um, in case you guys have some fireline out there, and we'll put it on this I project. I try using it. And yeah. so here it is. We've got some requests to see it on, so I guess I'll model it on my wrist. Um, but it looks. I love how this opening, and this is where you can come in and adjust the length too, mm -hmm. right? You can make that loop larger or smaller or whatever. And Krista observed last week when she was on that if you make the loop too large, just macrame up enough, the yeah. loop a little bit to shorten mm -hmm. it, which is really mm -hmm. clever. Um, and it's just a nice. It's not too wide. This is maybe a little over an inch. This one's a little bit wider mm -hmm. than that one there. But they're really, Allie, you just have this down. They're fun. Mine, <laughs> you really, Lots it really looks good. Mm -hmm. Mine pale in comparison. Wow. And then your the your connection. Mm -hmm. What you did is you just stitched it on at the end. Yeah, I just stitch it. Right, you just stitch it. Mm -hmm. It's the same way that you did this. And one if I made I this too it. long mm -hmm. by any chance, you can just move the button. Yeah, move the button down. Over, right you now. Yeah, so. I'm gonna. There's that little ruler that's right there. I'm gonna. So everybody can look exactly. This is an inch, you guys. Just so you know, this one here is maybe a little more than an inch and a quarter and then this is just a hair over six inches the beaded length on this one and this one probably as well Some six mm -hmm. so that's those are the dimensions for those guys there okay so that's that's it those are there so thank you so much for bringing there it's such a treat and you can find Allie's original in our 2020 lookbook um, if you go to beadshop.com you go to the top um, navigation bar and you go under projects and you will see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click over and do it myself right here so mm -hmm. I make sure that I'm doing this correctly. You go right to our um, project um, bar right at the top of the, the page and you scroll down to where it says lookbook collection. Click on lookbook collection and you'll see that the follow your daydreams um, Lookbook is there right at the upper left hand corner and then you'll see all of the rest of them. The summer lookbook, the beaded tassels, which some of you are in that one. Mm -hmm. I know that some of you right. watching that was a that was a group challenge which was great. And then we have the first design team lookbook, Allie's Epic Year of Monthly Mix mix wrap bracelets, and then some other lookbooks that we've done previously as well. So um they are really uh they're really a great um a great resource for you to to check out so um so there's that so we also have uh, now moving towards the project um you have created ali a really wonderful handout for everyone i hope so yeah well <laughs> i'm gonna say and the handout is it is really nicely done and we'll go over this a little bit as we're working but you can see the um the handout has all of the the listing of what we used you can also find all of and i'll click it over here we have just a an essential recipe over on the website as well that you can choose your own adventure with it right or you can click on the diadem or the tiara um colorways and you can go from there. So right there on beadshop.com. So here, uh, we've got the list. This one is diadem here. And you can see, we're gonna go through this, but Ali has really clear instructions. And I'll just go ahead and we'll go through this uh, uh, shortly. But it's a really great learning Pretty resource. Simple. So thank you so much. I'm gonna show you also uh, the the colorways that we used. This is the um, tiara, original. Original. the original, the one that you did. Mm -hmm. And I love. Now you, what was your inspiration for this one, Ellie? Uh, the Sea Crown uh, series came because of Sea Star, mm -hmm. the monthly the, the mix. The monthly mix. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the colorway started from there, mm -hmm. and then just trying to come up with some simple you know, right. little, more simplistic bracelets uh, that would be great in single wrap or double wrap. Yeah, and you don't need a lot of materials and not, for these. And not a lot of materials. Yeah. Um, 
they were they're the same all the way through. Mm -hmm. You know, they're they don't change. Right. Through. So it's simple yeah. and straightforward. Simple, easy. Yeah. And um, that was the inspiration. You was took a compadre. nod from the compadres, right? Um, and everyone loves Bollywood, mm -hmm. so combine the two. You right, know? it was kind of a mashup. Yeah, of those mash things. them up. And um, now I love this. Um, I have not. I'll be honest. I've never made a compadres uh, bracelet. Uh, I really love the way that yes. this is braided together. Yeah. Um, this is an older project from uh, the bead shop uh, website. And I love how it's just laddering that's been mm -hmm. braided. I love how you took that braided technique and then, like you said, everyone loves Bollywood. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't love Bollywood? And it's easy. And it's so easy mm -hmm. to do. And we're going to talk about, the first thing we're going to talk about is how we connect all of these. And I'll show you how to do that. But so this is the tiara colorway. And then I jumped in and did... I guess it was kind of based. I don't. I don't know. I kind of. It looks exactly like it. You did when you, you the sent them to me. They were thing. both the same. Yeah, that's exactly. hilarious. So yeah. the mosaic. My. I guess I was thinking in these colors. I don't know. So it'll be a good. Uh, it'll be a good. Yeah, it was the color of the week. It. it was. <laughs> and then I chose some different Ceylons and then some different um, leather here as well. And again, you can see the list, but I have this. This one again is called diadem, and I used the um, the leather is the metallic purple, the metallic teal, and then the turquoise. Um, we used the turquoise, teal, and azalea ceylons for this, um, and then I had the silver lined emerald, which is this one, the mint green alabaster, and then that's the transparent smoky amethyst. So. Those are good there. And then, Allie, what you used is you used the metallic red, metallic gold, and the metallic cement mm -hmm. leathers right. under there. And then um, the red hot Ceylon, the ginger Ceylon, and the gunmetal Ceylon. Now, you don't have to match no. your Ceylon to your leather. We have, and I'm going to click over here so you guys can see this. Allie, of course, the consummate prepster that she is, she prepared our um, a sample for me to show you how to finish in another colorway that I think maybe actually be my will be my hands down favorite. You use natural leather underneath, right? I right? wanted more of a you know non sparkle version mm -hmm. because these have a little bit, especially the newer right. one, um, matte finish, mm -hmm. um, natural leather. Right, so that's, you use natural, I mean, I'm going to yeah. slide it up so you guys can see it And I never bit. use, you use natural, the natural I don't either, one millimeter. And I don't as much as I should, I, I had guess. a ton of it, and I thought, you know, this might work yeah. with the metallic, the yeah. matte metallic. Yeah, so, and it really looks nice. And so you use the mahogany, the nickel, and the gold. And the gold, right. Yeah. Just trying to keep it in the metallic. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mahogany isn't really metallic, yeah. but it did go with the yeah. copper. Now, of course, you're blowing up the internet, Allie, I with know. those thread minders. Know, so I talk know, a little bit about those. This is a great tip straight from the master. Okay, I discovered these when I first started beading, which was not that long ago, so maybe a couple of years back, but they still do make them. Um, I have the hardest time with the sea, uh, Ceylon rolls. Mm -hmm. Keeping them everywhere. Yeah. They're just like a, a nuisance. So um, I found these thread savers on Amazon, and you can buy them by the bag. Mm -hmm. They come color-coded, which mm -hmm. which is really great because you can do all your regular in one color. Right. Your fine, That's your smart. micro. Um, they're great for wrapping up your wrap bracelets mm -hmm. and even using them. Yeah. I mean, they're and just... And so unwrap one so people can yeah. see what they look like. So you just wrap it with, uh, you just wrap it on there. So it's, it's just, like a little cuff bracelet for your yeah, Ceylon. Yeah, it's actually um, like silicone. Mm -hmm. And they're they're stretchy, they're flexible. Yeah. And so then you can just, you know, wrap up your Ceylon, find your tail, and then just tuck this thing right over the top of it. It's really smart. And there you and go. And it just keeps it contained mm -hmm. and you can just write the color right on yeah there. and I just do mm -hmm. and so when I run low then I can just you know mm -hmm. reorder it's easy mm -hmm. it's great now when you're storing your thread at home then when they're in these thread 
savers. Do you put them on a rack or you have them in a bin? I have them in the plastic uh, bins mm -hmm. and each little thing holds one or holds two. One or two. Depend. You can yeah. stack them like this mm -hmm. or you can lay them down. So um, like those floss boxes or whatever. Yeah, like and I found some really great ones on Amazon. Mm -hmm. They're two-sided. They're do actually double-sided. Mm. So my regulars take up both mm -hmm. two both sides, sides, you yeah. know. So you can really store a lot of mm -hmm. them, but I have one for each color. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. And Kim Crawford's asking, there's so many of those thread savers to choose from. Have you found they're kind of all about the same? They're all about the same. Yeah. I've probably bought from four or five different vendors. Great. Um, I can't really tell the difference in quality. Great, um, great, great. I, I say go for the cheapest ones. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I love it. So th that tip always, mm -hmm. always breaks the internet. I love it. I love it. And people are saying that they have them, um, that they love them. I've just ordered them. Some people are going to order them. So it's great. Yeah. No, I love it. They're really love it. good to have. <laughs> um, surf record. So this is a good. So Lori has a question. She's thinking about trying surf record and Chinese knotting cord. Um, what size Chinese knotting cord do you recommend? I would say maybe go for four or five, I don't know, five. Oh, for the base? Yeah. Well, but for the base. Well, if you're doing it over, if she's oh, gonna over, do it on, on the surfer cord, yeah. on the yeah. 1.5. If you use the surfer cord as the base uh, in place of the leather, then mm -hmm. I would say, yeah, probably the 0. 0.4, 0. 0. 0. 0. 4, 0. 0.4, 0.5. Or five, I yeah. would not go to the eight. No. You probably won't get it through you won't get all of your material. Yeah, You've got to be able guy. to get all of mm -hmm. the material through the evolve. That link, yeah. Because this is where you're going to start cutting them off. I'm going to just move you over. Oh. There you go. Perfect. Right there. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd, I'd say, you know, 0. 0.4, 0. 0.5 should work. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. we're using the regular mm -hmm. seal on. Right. So it's comparable to the to the four, but you could also, you could silk wrap this instead of doing You could long, do that as well. Or something like Anything that. Anything to contain everything mm -hmm. together because there's, the leather does not go through the loop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get started on, um, oh, you know what? I'm sorry, you guys. That was, we were so not on screen for oh. that. Oh. I'm sorry. We'll show you. Let me, we were showing you the other photo. Sorry about that. Um, that's what happens when I'm totally into what yeah. Allie's showing Amen. towards me. There we go. Um, so there it is. So there, that's a little bit easier to see. So you can see that base thread, if you're using the one millimeter um, surfer cord, you can come up and either cover it with the 0.4 CKC or the 0.5, whatever you want to do. It'll and both fit through the eight odds, I think. And I think you could even use, if you wanted to use the point eight, I, you could use that as the base. Even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you could. If you wanted to use the point eight, yeah, for, to have it be a little bit thinner. instead of surfer cord, mm -hmm. you it could. might make it a little mm -hmm. easier. Oh, there's Casper. Did you guys <laughs> hear that? Casper is greeting our mailman. Perfect. Um, so there it is. Okay, okay. Well, let's show how this begins. So with the handout. What you tell, and we use the, um, your friend of mine, the macrame board. And, um, let me see. I'm going to put it right there. Um, we're going to cut three strands of leather. What, what Ellie says here is, we're going to cut three strands of leather, one of each color. Um, a good formula for this design is your desired finished length doubled then add an additional six inches. Someone is an engineer right here, for instead of me going, you know, just kind of cut no, it. No, but I, that's <laughs> what I perfect. do. I had to figure <laughs> yeah. this out for no. Drea. I love it. I <laughs> she love made it. me do a formula. <laughs> I love it. So the center strand, you're going to tie a lark's head knot. Um, that's your first one. Yeah, and you can see you leave those ears a little loose on mm -hmm. the side because this is where you attach your other two strands. Correct. Right? So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So I'm going to scoot you over a little bit, Allie, and I'm going to go front and center. Yep. Um, need to do that. And then uh, let's go over here. Yeah. There we are. Okay. All right. And I would say that Leslie's asking about this um, beaded macrame. How quick, it's a it's an easy make. I don't know how quick of a make it is. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, it's pretty quick. Quite quick yeah. compared to a regular wrap bracelet mm -hmm. or something. It goes a lot faster. Mm -hmm. Great, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So if you're worried about jumping in, everybody, just kind of go for it. I'm going to do kind of an abbreviated, um, uh, 
a, a short one here. We're just not going to do a long one, on. just to tie it on so you guys can see it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say my desired finished length. I'm going to double it over. I see Casper out of the corner of my <laughs> eye. <laughs> I see that little dog. Uh, Alfred's not here today, but he'll be here tomorrow. And when Karen's dog Casper and our cat um, uh, get together, uh, Alfred and Oliver, I mean Alfred and Casper, they just, it is the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life, I tell you. Plus six inches, there we go. That's how long I'm going to make them. <laughs> little black dog and big black cat, or little white dog and big black cat. It's the funniest thing. So the one millimeter, I guess you could go up to a heavier leather, I guess. You could go up to 1.5. And I think you would have to uh, change your uh, closure at the end right. because it would not go mm -hmm. through the evolve. You'd mm -hmm. have to maybe do a silk wrap mm -hmm. or something. And maybe if you, um, like, if, say like if you were doing this for a guy. Like if I were doing yes. this for Chris, Chris would totally wear this, mm -hmm. I think. Well, maybe I'll send Especially, like yeah, especially if we did it in kind of, you know, kind of a streamlined color way, mm -hmm. maybe with the metals and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and you could scale it up a little bit in size. Now you can see as I'm cutting these, you guys can see I'm going to tighten in on that one so you can see that. That's We're going to close off on this one. Um, but this is the one that we did with the mahogany, nickel, and the gold. And then just the ADOT metal seed beads. I love this one. And that's the Animal Tracks mm -hmm. button. And it's a it, great button. It's a great button. If you don't have it, we've got plenty in stock. So um, you can pick up um, I love that button. Yeah, it's very rustic. Yeah. Um, it's great for uh, male bracelets, yeah. um, masculine. Type. Yeah, for those guy, mm -hmm. guys who like to wear bracelets, including my my Chris. Yeah. It is true. So let me get rid of this yeah. one. I'm going to get these guys here off the edge. And so my center one, I'll use yeah, this you pick purple. Your, pick but your pick one. your center. Mm -hmm, pick your center. So we're going to... Um, I've doubled the length and added that six inches and because this, if I were doing it, I'd make it just a single wrap. And I'm going to come through and make that lark's head knot. Very simple. All right. And you just slide it. Mm -hmm. Just pull it through. Slide it under like that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so, just leave so it there it is. Just a little bit so you can so thread now, it. What Allie does is she leaves the ears, and what you can kind of do, if even if you're having trouble, you can make this. Take a pin. Yeah, yeah. pin it. Mm -hmm. So you kind of pin that ear out and pin that ear out. This button gets in the way just a little bit, but and I'll you'll flip know where it. to. Yeah, put your other and one. so see, then you're gonna put. Yeah, you're gonna put your other ones right there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tighten these yep. up and put it. The beauty of this macrame board is. The slots. The slots. I put that in. Use the slots. And so there's my little opening, and I'm going to put one cord on the left mm -hmm. and one cord on the right. Okay, so the one on the left that you did was the uh, metallic teal, and you just slid it through, right? You yeah, didn't do anything fancy. Yeah, slide it through because you're going to tighten it up. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to slide that just one. Just make sure your ends are even. Ends are even, mm -hmm. and I'm going to tuck it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Tuck it in. Now I'll do this for the other side. I'll get the turquoise and put it this through here and bring it down. Make sure the ends are even. And tuck it in. Okay. So now uh, I'm going to take these pins out and this will kind of allow me to finagle this down. Yeah, it's easier if you do it on the back side of the button. You right, your button get that in down. there, right, mm -hmm. flip down, mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to pull this up. And don't tighten them yet until you get your first oh, thread. Oh, until I get my first thread yeah. in. Okay, yeah. gotcha. So the thread I'm going to use, it's the middle thread. It's the middle thread. Right? It will be longer okay. than the two outside threads, okay. so make sure you make choose sure your, yeah, you choose your center okay. color. I haven't, I just wanted to neaten this up just mm -hmm. a little so you guys can see this. Kind of so it looks yeah a see what more. I do is I secure it with the button with a piece of leather oh with the leather up the, the top. top that's yeah. even better so can you you guys can see that on the 
on this one, how I just pinned it, but Allie used. I mean, the you can do it either way. But yeah, but that's 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 terribly clever. It just lays it. Flat. It makes it lay. You yeah. know what? Would you hand me my string? Yeah. I'm going to do that string with our work. with our string. string I want to I want to show you guys this this little Allie Mori trick. There we go. Because if I'm going to do it, let's do it. So if I'm going to make my little loop. Yep. And see how that holds Just that, you guys? So smart. Look and, at how I'm learning. And I find on the macrame board, mm -hmm. sometimes I'll take the ends and I'll loop them through a few more. Right, to, to really hold it. Because sometimes they want to pull out, mm -hmm. depending on what kind of, you know, right. thread or cord you're using. And you want to, so see how this, the button, the, the mm -hmm. loop is on the horizon line mm -hmm. here, too. And I'm going to open this up just yeah. a little so we've got a little bit of width. But see that there? That holds it really nice. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Um, okay, so um, now I'm going to cut my center thread. My center thread. And I'm going to make this longer um, a little bit. The center one needs to be longer. It right? does because it's going to be the core for your mm -hmm. button loop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you cut on this one for the three strands, you cut four and a half yards of sea long. Yeah, I can manage thread, but right. if you can't, you can. it's Bollywood. So it's you can easy. always add thread mm -hmm. in. So but I'm this gonna, would be the max you would need. Yeah. I love it. And Paulette's saying many women like the more masculine look too. I agree. I wear like my men's watches. Mm -hmm. I wear, I like heavier I have yeah. a I have a ring, more so rustic. it's true, more rustic. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we can, those designs will be appropriate mm -hmm. for everyone. Absolutely. But for the guys in your life, you know, I think you'll be surprised. Um, I think more guys will wear jewelry than you think will, um, because I don't know. It's kind of a fun, uh, kind of a fun talisman yeah. to create. So now, once my thread is underneath here, you see, you guys, how mm -hmm. I did that. So now that's when I tighten up this lark's head. Right? Yeah, snug up your lark's mm head -hmm. just like you would mm -hmm. in any. So I'm gonna situation. try and do that here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna loosen everything a little bit. So I think Actually, I should want everything grab it. pretty tight. And then I'm just gonna tighten this up. So bear with me here, you guys, just a second as I do this. It's nice having Allie coach you from the sidelines. <laughs> So you don't screw up. I'm going to take this off actually and tighten my hands. There we go. There you go. So see that? You snug that right up. And so see what's under the sides. Let me arrange this. Mm -hmm. So my sealon is there. My two ends are there. And then I just come in and snug it up. Yep. And once it's snugged, I'll put it back in its little leash. Yeah, because that'll help you for yeah, the Hollywood. For tightening, for tightening. So let me tighten that up okay. and tighten this one up. Mm -hmm. And these and stay out of the way, to right? The side. Okay. Yeah, just put them aside. So I'm going to just tell this guy. Well, wait a second. We oh. have one more step. I oh, forgot. sorry, sorry. We're oh, gonna, we're going to. We're going to cinch them all together. Cinch them together. Yeah, so we want we have all to these do down. That. Okay, yeah, let's so put do them that. all down. All down. So let me hold your, get that in the back. Gonna be in the back of all of it, and this comes together like so. Keep them even, you guys. Mm, they wanna, they even. wanna, they wanna slide a little bit, and there we go. There we go. And again, okay. I'm just gonna tuck. Maybe I'll tuck it. I bet they'll all go in. Yeah, they will. One. They'll yeah. all fit. You can just go right in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now everything is brought together. So now it's time to macrame to bring all of these around mm -hmm. okay and yet yeah, we do carry this we carry this macrame board and i'm going to show you the other side it's the mini macrame board i do this on air with the flat side so it's not distracting for you guys but we carry it in the mini and the large one this is the one that um that Brittany uses for many of her projects as well i love it i have a couple that are always traveling with me to do those projects. So it's a really good one to have. Um, so now I just start, And right? you know, four to five, you just want to 
close the it end of the to button. tighten it up. Yeah, okay. the end of the button is pretty good. So um, now then we're just going to do our, our uh, flat macrame. macrame. So let me make sure that this is also even. Yes. And I'm just going to come in. I'll start with my, maybe I'll start with my right side, my P mm -hmm. side. And I'll make that loop. And this end will go over that tail, under all of those strands, and up through that loop. And now I just very carefully, you don't want it to go too high, very carefully just tighten it up. And once you get that first one kind of tightened, I'm going to put that down. There we go. Oh no, it does cover. It wants to come up nice and tight. It does. That's what yours does. Yeah, so that's just, what I'm going to yeah, do. Yeah, you're just tightening it all. Mm -hmm. You're fine. Okay. So now I'm just going to go back and forth and do mm -hmm. this macrame. We have a skill builder, you guys, for this um, that will show you. I'm just going to get this tightened and then I'll go over it a little bit. Did you find that you wanted these pieces to lay kind of flat or in a bunch? Well, yeah, to try to keep them. Keep them, right. The, the center strand will naturally be underneath. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't want to mix them up too much because right. they will have to go out like that eventually. Yeah. Right, so let me just do this. Get this going. Tighten that up. Back and forth, right and left. I'm going to do this at Kate speed so yeah. you can see. There we go. And you can futz with the placement a little bit more if you want. I'm going to get a little tighter in here so you guys can see it. There we go. And this right over left. So now that it's kind of um, secure, I want to go a little bit more slowly. So this flat macrame knot is the base that we use for many, many of our projects, including Bollywood. Um, and it's essentially a flat square knot. And so the way that you start it, we've got our two threads here. This is my left hand that has pen on it. Really <laughs> nicely done, Richburg. There we go. We do that. Um, I start and I make my loop and you can see that that loop, we call this kind of the P and Q method, this looks like a letter P, right? It has the loop here, and then that center comes down. So we lay that loop over the top. Now the right strand, the strand in my right hand, comes over that tail of the P, under all of those leather strands, and up and out through the loop of the P. Okay, so underneath. Then you can see that knot, that square knot, is tied around those center cords. So I just very determinedly, with the courage of my convictions, bring it up and tighten. And you just want a nice firm knot. You don't need to strangle it. You just want um, nice consistent tension. Now I'm going to do the same. So that's half of the square knot. Now I'll do the second half. I'm going to come make my P side. Here's the loop of the P. The, the backbone of the P right here is the leather. And then I take my left hand strand and go over that tail of the loop, under all of those leathers, and up and through the loop of the P. Okay? And then tighten that down. We have a great basic video um, that, um, uh, that Brittany made. Uh, on the basics of the flat knot. So you just go back and forth from the P side, the, uh, the Q side, the P side, and then back and forth. The other way that you can tell, and I'm going to show you this real quick, if you put this down and walk away, you can see the little side here, that little scallop. That's the side that you start on. Right, so if I'm coming back, I look for that little loop. That means I'm on a P or on a Q side rather here. If you continue and do the macrame all to one direction, all the way to the Q or all the way to the P, you'll have a spiraling knot like Brittany did. Um, I have it right here actually, like Brittany did in her Bollywood necklace a while back. You can see it would just spiral all in one direction.
And we have, maybe it's a little bit easier even to see it there like that, right? So if you interchange them, you either get a flat if you go back and forth or one direction you get that spiral. And Allie brought something I'm not going to show you no, now. You. It's a surprise. No you can't see it yet. <laughs> but she um, brought uh, a wonderful project that incorporates that spiral knot that we're going to be doing soon. I think you guys are going to love it. Okay, so once I've done this, now I just... We're going to flip it over okay. and do that first uh, middle strand okay. from the top because okay. it's easier to get that. Get that one situated, yeah, right? Situated. So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to... Oh, I've got so much thread here. We'll reverse it out. Yeah, and then just hold out the side ones and then mm -hmm. get your We're center gonna do that one. We're going to that center one yeah. ready to go. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to mix my colors. Mm -hmm. So here's... Here's the turquoise. Yep. We'll go to this side. And I'll just put it there for yep. the moment. And then here's the teal. Okay. We'll go to that side. And I wanna I wanna try and keep these flat-ish. Yes. Right? Not, That's the important is to yeah. get them lined up together. Right. We don't want it to, to twist. <coughs> and now with these cords, I pretty much just bring them underneath, Allie, right? Yeah. And I go underneath here. Exactly, get them away from mm -hmm. the other two. And underneath here. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Perfect. that was out of frame a little bit. You could just like we just show them how to do this. Just yeah, a little just bit. Just a little on, bit. Because yeah. we've got the other one done. So I'll come in, and then we used the thread, the beads that kind of matched. The thread. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to. You could mix it up. Yeah. Right. So when you um, now what you can do, and I'm going to show on Brittany's here because it's really easy to see. When you put your th your beads on at the same time, you get uh, your beads going right across it, from each other. Right, if you put right. one on one strand and one on the other, they will be exactly, exactly across. Exactly across. Did you, you put one and then tied the knot? Well, and I then strung the other. them all on okay. the left hand. Okay, the, the left hand side. Right. Okay, so that's what I, so you have a little bit of a step down. Yeah, like in more your, like what Brittany mm -hmm. does. So see here in this photo, you guys can see how the beads aren't exactly across from each other. So this one goes here, that one goes here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you strung everything on the left hand side. On the left hand side. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you don't, you can no. do any pattern exactly. you want on this. It's just like any Bollywood yeah. can be different. But it's great for travel, especially like if you're going to do this length, you can cut a bunch, you know, you can get this set up on the board to this section get your little um we have these storage bins called little storage and bigger than little storage which has the the little closure the lids that snap on and you can toss this and that in your bag with your beads in it and it'll be a really great travel project for you so i'm just going to string on two four six eight i'll put on ten and then what you can do is at the end, you can tie on a little stopper bead yeah, a stopper. to keep everything from coming off. And I'll just tie it like right at the end. I could probably untie it or you can just snip it off. You can cut later. it off too. Yeah. yeah, and so there's my stopper. So now all of my beads are on my left hand side. So you made some knots um, before I just started uh, the first one, and mm -hmm. then so you would just do. So I'm going to do some plain knots here, right? Or do oh, I no, just jump no, in? No, you don't. You can just jump in. Oh, okay. I mean, it's up to you. Sure. So I'll bring up a, a bead, in, and that's on the loop side, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go. I'll bring up a bead in the loop, and that loop just that bead just sits there. In the loop, right? No, no big deal. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to come over with that. So that's the Q side over the tail, under the center strand, and then up. And the beauty with this is you don't have to bring all those beads The beads through, through right, because you're always doing it. Mm -hmm. 
So now I do, do one more. I do just a a, a plain one. No, you're right? actually no. adding the bead. Oh, so I add the bead right. on this side. Gotcha. Right. So that it'll stay in that sequence. Gotcha. Yeah. gotcha. So this one will come in, and so that's in the loop. Mm -hmm. Now I don't have to bring the bring beads, the beads through. through right. And done. Okay. So that you've created your sequence mm -hmm. there, and your one pair. My one pair mm -hmm. is there. So now, how many should I put in between? So in mine, I did two. Okay. Two complete pairs. Okay. Two flat knots. So pairs. I'll do one. Oops, let me lift this up a little bit so I have a bridge to go under. Don't twist it. <laughs> there we go. Get that. Sometimes the, see how that bead yeah. wants to hit, doesn't want things to close up as nicely. So I'm just going to tighten it, kind of hold it. Get my other one in there. Kind of hard to get there we go. And then we'll do the P side. And can you see how that thread went back and forth so I didn't have the beads in? Mm -hmm. Now my beads are back. Was that two? That wasn't two. You did was two it? full pairs. You'll end up right yeah. back where you started. I think I need to do one more set. Um, one and two. There we go. And now I know that my beads are on my left hand side. Mm -hmm. So I'll slide that bead up. Yep. There's my loop. So I'll come over, under, and through. And see, I don't have to pull beads through. And then I'll do the same thing here. I'll bring up my, my bead. There's my loop. here and here. And here. And here. And one more. There you go. You've got so the now I know that after I do those two and my bead is in the right position, mm -hmm. I just pull that guy up. So there's that one. And let's slide this bead up. Complete that knot. And then we'll do two pairs. And it's really convenient. That's very smart, Ellie, that you did the beads only on that one side because you know when your beads now are back in position. You can kind of, yeah, knot. it's easier to keep track mm -hmm. of everything. So I know that this knot is up. You have to walk away even. Mm -hmm. You know where you are. And there it is. And so after I complete, do you complete each long strand? Well, that's the, there's that's a little, the next, okay, yeah, little the something. next something here mm -hmm. is um, you complete that strand until you reach the length of your finished bracelet minus an inch. Okay. Now this is just going to be approximate mm -hmm. because what happens is, is when you braid, it shrinks everything up. Right, and depending on how tight you break. Right, and you sometimes it, right? one strand might be a little shorter than the other. It mm -hmm. doesn't quite always end up the same. Right. So you're going to have to, at the end, you'll have to go back in maybe and add a bead or two. Right, to on even one everything of the strands up. or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'd say a good way is the length of the bracelet minus an inch. Minus an inch. Yeah. Okay. So I would just go through. I'm almost done with my five. I'm going to just complete the five yeah. just for fun just for symmetry's sake and you guys can start to see the the um there we go in here this looks good then i just can so this will be my last one mm -hmm. and i'll go in and i'll do two more plain pairs and then you guys can see how this looks so how many beads did you preload, Allie? Do you remember? Oh, you know, I don't. I mm -hmm. did not count them. Um, sometimes I had to refill a few, but mm -hmm. I, I put on quite a few. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of count on the map. Yep, sorry, you guys. I 
was doing this very uh, happily <laughs> right off screen. Sorry. That's why I had to check in the comments. Good thing. Thanks for keeping me on track. So, uh, so that's it. So let me, let me just count here. Let me see. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 46, 48, that's 50, 2, 54, 56, 58, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 2, 4, 6, 8, 82. There's about 82 beads on this one that measures, the measuring tape is hanging right on that camera. This one uh, measures when it's braided 14 inches because it's a double wrap plus mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that braided, the actual strung up part is just shy of 13 inches, just shy. So that's it. So that's about, um, so that's about where we are with that one. So yeah, and this is and you could make it double or triple or I don't know whatever, but it really yeah, looks pretty double. Want, yeah, it looks nice. So you'll continue on, and you can see. Let me unleash this so you guys can see it. So how it looks close up. There we go off the board. So and you can see that these are kind of ready to go you'll just kind of isolate this one mm -hmm. and do this right mm -hmm. and isolate this one and do that and then you can see um, I would kind of maybe push this up just a little bit and start my macrame there so yeah. it, it closes up everything nicely but you can see some of the leather is just exposed because that's how this stitch is when you put a bead in it but I think it looks really nice right here. And actually the um, handout will show that when you start your macrame, uh -huh. I actually have to loop the thread through. Oh, through that to side. To hold everything oh. together. So I'm gonna, I wanna actually show that. Show it up. So you loop the Ceylon. The Ceylon through. I just took a needle and that it. That yeah. first one. So mm -hmm. if I were starting my next one, yeah. let me just show you that you guys because that's a clever trick. Well it holds it all together mm -hmm. so you don't have that right that pulling little, apart. Right. Yeah. So I would start it right there. Yeah right? it's just on the bottom mm -hmm. loop or you know you could do two loops if mm -hmm. you wanted. So I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna get my thread so you guys can actually see that. You don't know if you need a needle. I'll get, you yeah I'll get a needle and I'll get the thread. Oh I've got thread snips right here and I'll just do a short one. So what I'll do to start this next one, I'll show you guys. This is here. And I'll just go underneath. I could go underneath too. You can, right? absolutely. It just holds it all together nicely. a little far from my guy. I'm going to actually go through this way because there you go. Yeah. It's just a little bit easier for yeah, me to do it. Matter the there we go. And I'm going to bring this through yeah. and I'll stop for just a second and I'll show you guys where I put this so you guys can see it. Sorry, I'm totally in the moment with Allie. So it's like <laughs> we're just making this and I'm ignoring you guys completely. There you go. Let me tighten that in. So now when I start this, I'm going to tighten this in the edges of my board. And I'm just going to macrame. I'm not going to put beads on, yeah. but you guys can see it. So I would just start this, um, just my macrame. So I'll do a loop, right? Mm -hmm. I'll come over. Yeah, just start again, under. just like you did the center mm -hmm. strand. And see, since it's since I went through the last stitch of my center macrame, it's going to hold it nice and tight there so it doesn't go down, so it doesn't slip down. It's very smart, Allie Morgan. Well, I think it's all, you know, when you do your jewelry, try to engineer them properly mm -hmm. so that they'll hold up and mm -hmm. last. That is a great tip. I would have just started it. 
and then halfway I've done down. That. I've done yeah, that. And, and then sometimes it pulls it, it down. Pulls on it pulls it down. You. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I would have been sad. Mm -hmm. That was terribly clever. There we go. And see, you'll just macrame. Obviously, yeah. you'll be adding your beads on. But I wanted to show you this, how it looked. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay. And then the second one, yeah, and this is also, Curtis started on the back side, right? You start you, each of these I on did the on the, the other two outside strands, I did it from the back side. Okay, yeah. The center one I wanted front and center. Front and center, yeah. right. But, yeah. So then these I would start from from the back. Mm -hmm. Great question. Yeah. There. And then the third one I'll come in and I'll do the same, same thing. thing. And there's plenty of room to capture right there. I'd put the thread right under there. That's where I'd capture yeah. it, right there, okay? And that's it. And so you'd braid, 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 braid until you have, and you have Allie to thank for all this preparation work. Wow. Much easier. Thank you. Otherwise you have the world's smallest bracelet. I know, <laughs> that's right. And Janice laughs on the other side of her computer. So let's, I'm going to move this one to the side and let's bring this one in. Now this, I wanted to show you guys so you can really see the, um, the beads that Allie used. She used, and she matched them together. You used the mahogany, Ceylon, and the, the copper, the copper dots, and then the nickel Ceylon and the, uh, it's the matte zinc dots, And then favorite. our favorite, our our, favorite. we were just talking yeah. about this, this gilding matte with also your one of your favorites, mm -hmm. the, gold. I did like the gold. It's really nice. We are adding a new, um, from our vintage tea roses tea mix rose. that I did last week, Allie was helping us mix it because they're, they're going out in the mail. Um, the, um, we're adding a matte Duracoat champagne. It's beautiful. It's oh. beautiful. And it does kind of what this gilding mm -hmm. matte does, but not, uh, but not in a metal. I just love it. So yeah. those will be up. Those, those will be up, um, going on, uh, going on soon. So, so, so that's what we use for these. And so then what Allie did was she used that Animal Tracks bracelet, or Animal Tracks button, like we talked about earlier. This Animal Tracks, I love this button. It's a, it's nice and big, and um, I don't know, it's just shy of an inch, maybe seven-eighths of an inch right there. And you can see how she started. This really shows it well, because hers is nice and neat. There's that lark's head that goes through and then the little ears of the lark's head she used the the natural leather to go through on the right and on the left she kept everything nice and neat and put that gold seal on through did i don't know you said about six flat knots yeah. there it depends on how big your yeah, button is right because you just want to clear mm -hmm, clear the you kind of want to clear the button yeah and then macrame the center Macrame, macrame, macrame. And so you see, she did that one on the front so that mm -hmm. this one is nice and clean. And then she flipped it and on the back, attached just like I did over there. And you attached and did a little bit of macrame and let your beads go Sometimes a little bit. Sometimes it eases in the braiding, yeah. you know, if you have a little bit mm -hmm. of space. Mm hmm. It looks good. And then this guy here, bam, bam, bam. And I love the unifying theme of this is. Well, number one, they're the same metal beads and they're silver, gold, and copper. But they have that that natural leather mm -hmm. underneath that I think looks beautiful. And I think that the natural will start to um, patina nicely. It does. You know what I mean? So it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So now what do I do, Ali Mori? Now it's time so for me to braid. So you're right here braid. to braid. So you mm -hmm. did it from the front so you mm -hmm. can get a good picture of what mm -hmm. it's going to look like. So we've done it all, and I'm going to just flash this to you guys so you can see we're reading from Allie's, a reading from the instructions by Allie Mori. <laughs> we flip step. right, the last, so we flipped it over, and we're braiding from the front. Keep the braid snug and even. 
don't be alarmed if the strands are uneven when you get to the bottom because yeah, that's when you can fix it. Yeah, so I'm going to flip it to the front, put it here. I'm going to tighten this up just a little bit. We're going to have to make a page for this one too, just this single <laughs> strand. It's so good. Isn't it great? I love, and you could do this with little shadows too. This you would look could. great. That would be with really the nice. silver, mm -hmm. the gold, yeah. uh, the silver, the brass, right. and the copper. It would mm -hmm. look great. That yeah. Would be perfect. Totally true. So I just braid it. Just braid, braid it. Mm -hmm. Okay. See where you get. <laughs> okay. I'm going to just braid it. See how it turns out. You might get lucky. Right. And you want to keep that braid flat, flat, as flat as you can. Right, so very deliberately place it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Place it up. Very good. And then I'll kind of look at, I'm doing this way out of my vision range. So I want to make sure that this, I feel like I was getting a little tight. I want a little bit of air. Yeah, you can give it a little yeah. bit of air. So I'm just going to unbraid this. I want a little bit of air because we want everything to kind of lay lay flat and nicely. Right now I'm going, I don't know if anybody's watching is going to Stitches West, the big Stitches knitting conference that's going on this weekend in Santa Clara, California. I'm going tomorrow. I have a class that I'm taking, uh, which is going to be really fun. But uh, so I'm knitting my swatch, right? It's like writing your term paper the night before. What a <laughs> surprise. Um, so I'm knitting my swatch. So I was up early this morning doing some work and getting a little knitting in. <laughs> and my knitting tension, I was like, you know, trying to do like 12 other things. So the tension of my knitting is super tight. <laughs> <laughs> so you can tell what I have on my plate if my braids and my knits are really tight. But if you're at stitches, say hi I'll be I'll be out there on the floor <laughs> doing some doing some um, doing some walking around too and then you can kind of make sure that there's some movement yeah. in it too right that you don't want good. it to be too tight but there's a little bit of air so you can actually see everything and of course Allie's is nice and even but if it wasn't even just go back and add a few add a few you know just right. add whatever you mm -hmm. need back on and I think I've said yeah, right, so said that there. Yeah. So now, Allie, to close this. Well, um, so you just um, mm -hmm. get them so, this is where you're adding them in. Mm -hmm. um, so right, you're, you're going to be right at mm -hmm. this step. At this so point. you can see if they're uneven, see how Allie shows you to pin it and then braid or um, macrame until everything's even there. So now this is what I'm going to do. I'm mm -hmm. going to stack one strand on top of the of another, keeping the original leather strand on top. Use a pin if you need it to keep it together, and then we're going to cut the Ceylon and macrame three pairs of flat knots over it all. Okay. So uh, the original is the gold. Gold, right? Okay. So. I'm going to just come in. So lap them on top of each yeah, other. Yeah, I'm just going to tighten everything up. And someone was asking about the um, length of a man's bracelet. It really depends. Um, you can check that one that I made. We have a lot of guy bracelets up on the website. It's under a um, heading called For the Guys. Uh, and you can see some of the measurements there. Um, kind of a standard, maybe it's like eight and a half to nine inches, maybe. So I'm going to stack all of these up, keeping the original gold one on top. This is the gold, so I'm going to put it there. And so now I'm going to I'm going to need to macrame over all this business, right? Yes, it's all going to. So I actually want to come in and do this. And you might have to pin them. And I might. You I can even see. add a drop of, you know, like hypo, hypo or whatever yeah. and let it dry if you want. Don't think I want to make sure that, though, it was a little loose. I want to make sure that my braiding is right. The most important is that the center one is on top. Is on top because mm -hmm. that's the one that your closure is going to, you mm -hmm. want it all kind of to match. There we go. I'm going to bring it in on this side. So bear with me here one more time, you guys. I just want to make sure this tension is right. 
I want to do Allie's piece <laughs> justice here. There we go. So I think I got a little loose there in the center when I was telling my tension story. There we go. Now it's on top. And so I get my piece of Ceylon, and you say to cut how much? Because this is what's going to close it all about up, a yard, right? Or about about a, I just, I'm the old arm length mm -hmm. kind of person. So I about just, a yard. Yeah, it can be a little bit longer. It's not. You just don't want it too short. Mm -hmm. There we go. You don't want to run out. This is going to be your closure. And you know what I'm going to do? I, one of those clampers is there. Oh, well, that might work. I'm going to just... That's a good idea. I'm just going to clamper yep. it all together just like that. That's good. And, and Michelle is also saying, really good observation, that the size of the bracelet or the length of the bracelet will change depending on how bulky you make the piece, exactly. right? So if you're sizing up to a larger inner core and, and beads and stuff like that, the, the thickness of that bracelet as it goes around the wrist is going to take up more length because when it goes around the wrist, the diameter, it'll, it'll just like if you're fabricating a ring, exactly. you need, a, if you're doing a wide band, you need a little more material yeah. there. And so these uh, measurements are for this exact material. Mm -hmm. Um, so now I just, so now what you're going to end up with, you, you put, I'm just going to macrame, you're going to get three macrames, three macrames, yeah, okay. to just, so it closes, it, closes all it all together. I'm going to get it nice and tight. I think I can get it actually yeah. in here. Yeah, I think that's what I did. Yeah, it's tucked you put in. it tucked in mm -hmm. and this is here. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to get that first one in, mm -hmm. and you just kind of have to get it in there, and then you can kind of arrange a little bit. So I'm going to do my first knot, tighten it up, making sure that that top one is there. And I'm going to put a little pin right there to hold everything. And you know what I say, you guys, right? What do I say about closure? That we all need closure. No, that we, we, <laughs> that I never close on the same day that I make this piece. So if I were creating this piece or working on this piece, I would probably put it aside, give myself a little bit of a rest, and then do the closure. But uh, I don't know. Idea. <laughs> There's that one, and now I need to do this side. And again, I'm doing this kind of far away from my focal range, so bear with me here just a little bit while I get this into position. I'm gonna undo that. Sorry, you know you're good. <laughs> I just have to be able to see it underneath. And here, and I'm going to go over under all of these guys and tighten it up. There we go. Good. And then I'll do this side. And I'm going to kind of do this at Kate's speed yeah. to kind of keep it all together. So bear with me and then we'll look at it. Come here, little thread. There we go. And that one there. Good. And you did three sets, right? I did about three, it looks mm -hmm. like, yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's coming. I like how Lorraine is saying she gets anxious at the end of the project, so I take that advice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. I kind of do too, you know, like if I've made a piece, there we go, and you can see it just kind of now everything sits mm -hmm. pretty nicely. Yeah, looks good. There's a little bit of a, a space there, but not too bad. if I were if I were doing this in real life and not in demo time, yeah, if you had I might, close, you'd I might be fine. try and close yeah, that in. You'd be fine with it. But the same thing, uh, you know, if I'm setting a stone on a piece or whatever, I always um, wait and set this and set the stone mm -hmm, and set mm -hmm. the stone later. 
So um, I think I need to do just one more. Yeah. I mean, you can do as many as yeah. you want to tie it all together. You it know, it hurt. it's always good to take a little bit of a pause. Yeah. So now there's my three. So what do I do? Uh, what do I do next? You're going to slide on the e-bob onto everything. Okay. So you can see here, and I'll show you this on the handout here. So here we are. I've I've closed it. I brought it all together. So now I slide and evolve over all the strands. I'm going to hold the two Ceylon threads that were used on the center. So those are going to be your gold ones mm -hmm, on this. My gold ones. Mm -hmm. They should be longer than the other ones, and then hold out the two working threads that were recently added. And I'm going to apply some zap uh, onto the leather and seal on into that at the area. So I'm going to slide on my evolve, then I'm going to put that glue on there. Yep. That's I think it's one. yeah, one of those is a good one. Let me make sure that one is maybe this. Does that one got it? Yeah, I just have to open it up a little bit. But wait till you get the uh, right until on there because you're going to slide it right on. Right. So, yeah. Now let me try that one. Okay. This zap it feels a little full. Yeah, that zap might have it's gone zapped. the way of the dodo. <laughs> let me see if this one is ready. When they get like that, yep, I take ready. a pin and poke it right, in. Right, poke it in. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to. Oh. I'm gonna do this. I just want the. Do you have plastic? Yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. Just make sure it's ready. Right. Michelle is saying put a charm on there to cover up that space. Perfect, Michelle. I'll do that. That's a, that's what charms are for. So now I'm gonna hold out. So I'm gonna put all the threads Everything through though, goes, right? Right. Okay. Everything goes through. So you hold I'm out gonna, after. I'm gonna get. So what I'm actually going to do, sometimes when I do this, there's my golds. You can always feed those in after. Yeah, and there's my golds. Okay, mm -hmm. so I know that those are the ones that yeah. I need to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. This leather, I'm going to widen this up so you guys can see. Whoops, sorry, let me get a little wider here. So you guys can see, here's the ends of my leather. I can cut these short right um, can I yet yeah I'm all not. of this is going to get cut off cut off so with this leather being one length and these being another they're kind of long it I'm going to give really them hard. a little bit of a haircut yeah. just a little bit and the a roller bead or a pony bead will also work as long as the hole is big enough you're going to have to double check I think that the regular pony, the hole would be big enough. Mm -hmm. The ruler might be a little small. Might be but, too small. But you can check it. It also doesn't sit as flat, so you right. can have more bulk. Right. Remember the but round it, Right. The but round it will work. Ones. It'll work, yeah. and you could also do, um, again, silk wrap this mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever. Whatever works. Um, so my all my, these threads are through, right? So now I'm going to pass... Get all the leather. Through. All of these, and I want to make sure that I'm not, that I'm still not, like catching those gold threads or anything, because I'm going to put those through last. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to put all of these guys, and I again, I don't want them to be too bunched up or twisted. Keep it as flat as you as can. As flat as you can. So I'm going to actually arrange these out. Take your time, and I'm going to put these through two at a time, these two, these, there's that one, because if it's too bulky at the end when you're trying to smooth everything down, no amount of smoothing will fix it if it's all twisty. There we go. Yeah, you're almost And done. now these two here. And there's room to get them in. Yeah, right should be room for side. everything. Mm -hmm. That one there. Slide it through. And then we have one final one of these guys. And so again, kind of push, you can push everything mm -hmm. to the side, kind of opening up a little tunnel there and send that one through. Okay, there we go. 
So see how this is all pretty straight and even. Now I'm going to send the rest of these. Yeah, through, and hold right? them out to the mm -hmm. side because they're not going to be part of your part glue. of my glue. Well, they, glue fest. they kind they do, of end up right. in the glue mess, but you just want to make sure you keep track right. of them because right. you're going to be cutting things off and you don't want to cut those. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to utilize my needle, though I probably could get them through. But let's use oh, that. I use those needles yeah. all the time. Let's open up a little bit of space in that evolve and send it through, keeping these over to the left. And then I'll do the others over to the right. Beating with an assistant is the best mm -hmm. ever. That'd be the way to have it. <laughs> have and a helper. Going through. Perfect. Well, you set me up for complete success. Oh, it's okay. Open up that space. Send that needle through. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to even everything up. And this is where I add the glue, right? Yes, right above now it. Now, how close? Yeah, right in there. How close do I need to get? Well, you're going to shove it all the way up to okay. the uh, macro. Okay. So I want to get my glue kind of there and then push. Well, I would probably pull it back a little a bit. Little Give bit. yourself some room because okay. you got to work the glue in. in. You want okay. all of those strands to be to be glued. Incorporated okay. because you're going to cut them all out. Okay. So, I'm going to I'm going to yeah. put that underneath Perfect. there so you guys can see that. Good way to do it. And let's get that zap. And would you give me the toothpicks? Yeah. Please, please, oh please. Whoops, this is the one. That's the bad one. Let's get the good zap. And we're going to put that zap right there, right about there? Up, up, here. up, up here. Yeah. That's about right, right there. Yeah. And okay. Then work it in. Okay. And then quickly get that evolve up in there. Yep. <laughs> no way too long. Right. So I'm going to get it, get it in there. Work it in. And then I'm going to slide that evolve up. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I've got the glue in. Yeah. And let's just slide this bad boy right. And you can even use your outside uh, threads to help you. Yeah. And I'm going to get, if there's any excess glue, I'm going to use my toothpick to get it away. And yeah, you say get those outside threads to help you. Yeah, it pushes it Push down. it down. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you got to work quickly because this zap wants to set, which is a good thing. Yeah. It'll, yeah, it will hold it definitely. You don't have to worry about that. And I want to get a work any of this extra. You want to work in a well-ventilated area, not in the small little area we're working in. So if I get loopy from these glue <laughs> fumes, it's not my fault. All right. Oh, and so there's that. There. All right, look oh, at that, you guys. Yeah, we're doing a, we're great. Okay, so now what do I do? Okay, so you're right here. Looks like mm -hmm. this. Hold out your, um, your Hold gold out my gold. So you mm -hmm. don't cut them off. We don't want that to happen. I'm going to put a couple of pins right there. Yeah, right that's there. how I do it too. Pin just mm -hmm. pin it down. So now, okay, so after it's glued, one. so it looks like in this step you'll begin to remove all the leather and pairs and two pairs of seal on thread. Start by making a pair of knots here, mm -hmm. remove a few strands. Well, not these two. Right, but, but uh, cut a yeah, few of the other out, strands start away. Start cutting right? them out, yeah. Then make another pair and then taper down. So You're just kind of tapering, tapering it, it down. down. And, okay. you know, two or three. I, I think I probably ended up with maybe okay. three, or, okay. three or so. So I'm going to... Is this with the long strand that I'm doing this with or the short strand? Um, the outside yeah. ones are the, should are the, be the, should be the, the ones that you just added in. Right. Up here. So those are the ones that I'm going to be knotting so with, right? So grab your, probably your longest ones, okay. I would say. That's these guys here. I don't know how you get into right. that, but yeah. And then do I hold out the other gold ones as well, or I don't? Yeah, two, you two should have of them. two sets. Okay. So this is what I hold out. 
for now because okay. you don't want to cut them. Right. Uh, eventually, these guys will be the button. The okay. Base, gotcha. The base for the button. Oh, one. gotcha. Okay. So I'm just going to use these to macrame. These, and I, but I'm going to macrame around everything. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Absolutely. So I'm just going to do this and I'm going to start my macrame. Yeah. You just, you're holding these out because you don't want to cut them. Right. I don't want to <laughs> cut them. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go under. Let me tighten this back up. Let me just get this board situated here. I'm actually going to just move this down just a little so I can get these down there. Pin this in and then I'll show you guys what I'm doing. This is such a clever closure too. I really, I love it. Well, it's good and secure. You know, yeah. if you do it right, it Let me won't come apart. Go right into the board there. Because it's easier if I'm macrameing around something that has some, has some tension. tension in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's my loop. I go under everything and up and out. Yeah, so make one complete pair before mm -hmm. you cut the first okay. pair. So there's one side of that pair, and now here will be my other side of that pair. Okay, like and so. You can cut some out. And so I should just cut some, just choose something, choose, right? Not yeah. the gold. No, not the four golds, yeah. Exactly. So I'll put that to the side. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And you just want to start lightening it up. Mm -hmm. Lightening the load. So maybe a pair of, and just right up to there, right? A pair of the, the yeah. leather. Yeah, you're just tapering. You're, you're actually so tapering there's that them. one. And I'll get that one. It's kind of like one. how Brittany cuts them out of the uh, right the macrame bracelets. The yeah, and right. start cutting away. So now we'll do another pair. those, and we'll do another pair. Yeah, and you could probably cut a little more next time. Okay, I'll cut a few more. Yeah, okay, you have to get rid of all of it. All of it. I know. I'm all <laughs> just two. I'm just gonna do two. <laughs> all right, I'll cut a few more. No, it's okay. Yeah. You can do them on the next step. It's totally. Fine. There's one. Get the other gold ones out of the way. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get rid of this and cutting only the cord and maybe one seal on. Okay, that sounds like a good plan. Is that a good plan? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. There we go. And then do another pair. Another pair. And I know which side to begin on, right? Because that's my little, that's my little scallop there. Let me get a little tighter so you guys can see how I'm doing this. All right, there we go. This loop here. And Gita is asking, um, couldn't I, could I crimp this Evolve instead of using glue? Uh, you could, but I think for strength, probably having the leather all glued together is will is more secure. It was more secure. Yeah, yeah. I I would agree with that. Yeah. So it's more solid inside mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Plus, I like the look of the evolve when it's rounded. Mm hmm. Me too. Yeah. I'm not fond of crimping yeah. them down. They don't always turn out real good. Yeah. So now I get away with now some. I, I how try many? to get rid of the, the rest of it. Um, yeah. Or maybe half and then do one more. Okay, then one more. Yeah. Okay. So you I'm going to get rid of it's the. It's your preference. Yeah. And how I'm going to get rid of the, the leather. One of those. And this leather. And then the next one I'll get rid of. And all then the you're going to end up with nothing. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah. This goes down. So now we're just going to continue to taper down. And you're almost there. Almost home. Okay. Now I'll get rid of these final. Yep. And vote these off the island. You have to there go. go. Save your four. Make yep. sure save you my four. four. So now these become my center. 
They will, but you're going to have I'm to gonna straight, put on my put all of them through okay. the big shadow. And so the big shadow here, you can see there's the evolve, there's the taper, there's the big shadow. And I made my taper super long. You guys can see that. Allie's is maybe not quite as long, so I'm adding a little bit of length there. But I wanted you guys to see what I was doing, so I kind of exaggerated this as yeah. I was taking them out. Yeah, and you okay. can adjust your length. So, um, yeah, you can totally adjust yeah. it. So now, uh, so there's that. So I'm right up here. I'm right gonna there. Add, oh, I'm going to add that evolve. Yeah. Go I mean that, that big, big shadow. shadow. Mm -hmm. Perf. So the way I do that, to sometimes if I need to wrangle a bunch of threads, I'll bring them together and I'll kind of make them into a loop like this so it's nice and tight and I'll send that loop through that big shadow see if I can get them all in there sometimes this trick works I'm so proud of myself but <laughs> maybe if it was a pony it would work a little bit better yeah but I think I can small, get it I think you can do it yeah <laughs> see there we go yeah, you did it Who's the boss? Yeah, there of you those go. Beads? <laughs> Moi, I am. So that so now I'm going to push it up. Yeah, and you know what? I'm going to use if anything is doing like Grand would say, honey, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. Oh yeah, just I'm going to gonna thread that. burn down. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. those little tails, little nubs that are bugging me. So we're just going to tap them. I hope you guys can see this. I'm going to tap them down. Just get rid of them. Can I see them? Turn these around a little bit. Tap them down. Just to get them, to get them out of my way. There we go. And I can think even, there's a little, there we go. And I don't think I got any other this is always the heart stopping point. I know everyone's watching going, will no. Kate, will Kate cut? <laughs> will she blow the, the whole thing? <laughs> will I? And it'll be, it'll all end in tears. There we go. All right. So now this comes up. You push it up. And I still am working with these long ones, right? So we yes. don't want everything to get in a jumble. That's right. Keep the two shorter ones are your core. Oh, my core. Now you're just making a standard button. A standard loop. button. That's loop. all it is. You're done. And you're going to loop back, you know, through that shadows where you're. Right. So after loop. I do this, okay. Yeah. So I'm going to bring that in. And get that a little bit higher. So yeah, you guys can good see. job. And I'm going to move that down so I don't interrupt anything. And I'm going to lift. I'm going to lift that with my beads this time. And you need to make this loop as large as you need it to be for uh, to fit around the button right mm -hmm. correct oh, i'm not liking that oh, i think i need thread i wonder maybe you should move the whole thing yeah, maybe a bit and give you a little more room, more room. Yeah. working that close to the bottom it's hard when it's yeah. hard there we go that might help a little bit This is the part, if we were doing a video for later, it would get edited out. But since this <laughs> is live, you guys get to see it all. All of it. All of the bloopers and yes, stumbles. Yes, there's and no, um, go, there's no, can we take that back, no, please? No. Can we, can we, can we redo it? There we go. Yeah. So this is the light speed. Mm -hmm. But you've also demoed this many, many times. I have, so. yeah. And so I'm just going to do a few yeah. of these so you guys can see. And then I'll show you how I bring the button around. Yeah, to, it's in the um, hand out. Yeah, to do that. Okay, so here's this. And so you can see now that the, the tapering has happened, that loop is not too big for you to get around your button. Yeah, it'll be, it's the perfect, you know, double C-long. Yeah, perfect. Regular Ceylon makes yeah. a great width. Okay, so once you've gone however long you need to go, you're going to kind of look at it, and you're going to come in, and you can see what Allie says here. You're going to macrame 
your pairs of flat knots until the section is long enough. Then once it's long enough and you've measured, you're going to thread the needle with the two inner threads, slide it back up through the neck of the shadow bead, snug it up, and then see how it's through. You're going to, whoops, no you can't, see how it's through those center beads. You're going to do one full flat knot above the shadow bead to secure it. You can add a drop of hypo tube there. And then do you... Um, I run them back through. You run it back if, through. You know, I or, would say, or around. I Either would way. say do whatever mm -hmm. is comfortable for you. Um, knot it and you can burn them off. Mm -hmm. Whatever types of finishes you mm -hmm. do. I tend to always run mine through as far as mm -hmm. I can. As you can. Um, but... Actually, I wouldn't burn anything off because you're right, going to take you're gonna, it, and it. It cleans it up if you're able to go over these, if you run these all right. through. So you'll go here, those center through. You'll yeah. macrame. Yeah. You'll macrame below the shadow. Yeah, and then on the other side. Now, but that's just on the my other preference. Side of the mm -hmm. Yeah. If, if you want to go that far. If you want to go that far. But you don't have to. And then your, your charm, charm will attach wherever you want it to attach. Exactly. In this area between the evolve and the shadow. You could attach it over here on one of those. It uses strands. that large oval mm -hmm. uh, jump ring set. Right. So it, it yeah, yeah, and it sits nicely to yeah. cover it. Yeah. So if I were going to just check and see if the button will fit, I'll make my loop. Right, obviously that's all macrame, mm -hmm. and I'll just double check to make sure it's not too large for this to come through, and that's when I pass this. Um, I tie my, my knot, pass it all back through the shadow, and then continue doing my knots over the top right. if you want to do it. But you could end this wherever you wanted to. Yours along is pretty this. clean. It looks yeah. pretty good. I Mine was a little messy, so I macrame mm -hmm. back over it, mm -hmm. but I don't think you have to. Yeah, I think it would look mm -hmm. And So let me show you. If you were going to, you guys, and this just kind of came into my head, if you were going to make this a part of another multiple wrap. Oh, yeah. So this is one full wrap. Mm -hmm. Let me go a little bit wider so Great you guys can idea. see this. So this is your single wrap right here. Okay. Now if you wanted to come in and ladder, continue mm -hmm. your, your adventure with this guy, you could close, taper it down like you did here, and then you could leave one of those make that one longer in the beginning mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you would have your yeah. pardon me you'd have your i'll do this you'd keep a a, a double you know a yeah. pair of your of your leather mm -hmm. and then you could um use this to do your laddering, laddering with, right yeah. so you you would take away these center strands Absolutely. here, and then ladder, and so that would be a cool way. That to would be great to mm -hmm. add a mix. It would be really fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would look really good. Yeah, a lot of things you can do with it. Yeah, it's really awesome, and so it just closes up. Let me show you this closure yeah. again. <clears throat> Here's where you bring that loop back through, around, tie that knot, bring it back through the shadow. And this is where Allie went over the top, back through the evolve, over the top there, and then glued it off and closed it there. Really nicely done. And All that right. just reminded me, you could also make the loop and do like a trail's end. That's Janice just oh, typed. Oh, did she, she do that? Great okay. minds think alike, <laughs> yeah. right? So that trail's end loop exactly with that leather, it mm -hmm. would look beautiful. To add more leather mm -hmm. on, you could do it that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It would look really beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I think this is really, <coughs> pardon me, really adaptable to a lot of different um, different techniques. I love, 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 and I think everybody out there does too, loves the way that this um, this metallic yeah, um, that one is, really looks nice. I really nice. like the, the matted, mm -hmm. you know, muted tones. Yeah, I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. And so we'll have that one finished so you guys can see that. Here's this one, and let's get Allie's original in the mix too. There they all are, right there together. I think they look good. Get that little loop out of the way so it doesn't distract. There we are. Look at how pretty. And so you can find um, all of these, um, all of the, the handout, the project, the ingredients, 
If you go over to our website at beadshop.com, you'll find it there and you'll see the uh, all the ingredients listed. You'll see a button that says uh, download handout. You can print it out. If you save the handout as a PDF to your, um, you know, to your e-reader or however you want to do it, I believe you, did you link everything? Is it linked or is it not yeah, linked? Yeah, uh, the it's ingredient linked. list the list is, is linked, linked. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, of mm -hmm. course it is. So, you <laughs> will be able um, to just click right over there and see that too. Um, <clears throat> today is February 19th, Wednesday, February 19th. So, if you have um, signed up for your newsletter, you have seen a couple of things that we've got going on here. I've got my newsletter right here on my phone. You'll see that uh, it came in at 2 a.m. our time, Pacific time, so you guys on the West East Coast get a little bit later. Um, and you can see here that we talked about the project for that. I'm going to scroll up. Everything is scrolled, etc., etc. You'll also see, you guys, that we're having a Ceylon sale today, so it's perfect for the sea crowns. Today only, and today is the 19th of February, and it ends at midnight Pacific time. You take 25% off of all Ceylon by using coupon code CELON25. So you too can get uh, your Ali Mori. Uh, <laughs> go to go to Amazon, get your Ali Mori little things here, and you'll have you can add to your collection, right? <laughs> we also something else also launched today, you guys, that I wanted to mention. And at the start of the broadcast, we had three spots remaining, and I don't know. Uh, how our our spaces are now, but it's time for our bead shop uh, fourth annual bead shop retreat. Um, this time it's called Skills, Balance, and Mastery. It's in the beautiful hills above San Juan Batista, California, September 18th through 21st this year of 2020. Um, there's an uh, there's a sign up link there. Um, you can just pay your deposit and then pay the remainder in um, either one or two um, payments later. And uh, we have a great program, <clears throat> pardon me, we have a great program uh, ready to go. Um, Janice and I and Cynthia, um, oh, no, maybe I shouldn't have said, maybe. Janice and I and Brittany and Emily. Maybe we'll have a special guest, I let that slip. Um, it's going to be really fun. We're, Emily's doing PMC, Brittany's doing um, macrame, um, I'm doing some kumihimo. It's going to be really, really fun. So we'd love to have you join us. All of the details are at the link. You can sign up um, and grab the, um, and look at the info and everything there. So that's it. But for today, our coupon code is CELON25. And Ali, you've been to our retreats. Oh. Yeah, they're pretty good times wonderful. if I do say. Yeah, definitely yeah. good times. Yeah, good times. No doubt. So I'm going to put us in the, in the, on the screen here. So let's move it all over, and we can. Um, yeah, there we you. go. We'll yeah, get in there, there we are. There we are. I can see us. I'm going to put us up right here. There we are. Perfect. We're back. We're back. Well, thank you ever so. Thank you. Well, it was. It's always an education when Allie is here, and I'll tell you, she really. Whoops! I want to make sure you're in there. There we go. Um, I learned so much. I learned how to taper. I you wouldn't did. know how to do that. You did, and you did a great job. Well, I mean, it's really good. I've been beating a couple of couple of days. It's really it's good. Okay. But yes. Well, thanks. I'm glad. And you guys wanted to see. Um, here are my earrings I'm yes. wearing. This was kind of a fun. Great earrings. I'll put these up close so you guys can see. Just a little bauble. And mine and too. Okay. Yeah, you're wearing, that's right, a little. So I guess it's time to wear uh, Kate jewelry today. Kate it was Kate really Davis. fun. It was fun. And I just saw it at the corner of my eye. We have two spots left. So if, for the retreat, so if you're watching this later, though, and we're sold out, put yourself on a waiting list. Okay, we've, the past few years, we've taken um, that's how one I or two. On. That's how you got the in. First the first time, time yes. you uh, took a waiting list mm -hmm. spot. So, mm -hmm. so you can always email Drea, um, info at beadshop.com if we're sold out and have her put you on our waiting list because we would love to be with you in September this year. Well, as always, you guys, you can find all of the info if you go to beadshop.com for the information on the project and the products from this broadcast. Thank 
you again for all of your love on my short haircut. Oh, I, love I love it. it. It's time to grow up that gray, so I'm embracing it. Um, you could sign up for our newsletter for the latest discounts, giveaways, and new products, um, as well as fun announcements and things like that. So um, we keep all of that information private. We don't sell it or give it away, so uh, your secret is safe with us. All right, one final peek. We'll say goodbye. Thanks, you guys. Yeah. And we'll see you soon. I'll see you Friday for Free Tip Friday. I have something fun uh, baked up or baking in the oven mm. for you as we speak. So I'll see you on Friday. And you'll see Allie's coming back next month. Yes. For another yeah. fun project from the lookbook. You guys will love it. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for all of the shares and the love. And I'll see you on Friday.